Now, many people are carrying on business. Business itself is a risk. Now let us see how can we reduce the risk. How to reduce the risk in business. Basic concept of business itself is taking risk. The risk means dare to invest, dare to earn and dare to lose. So that should be a concept. So whatever you are investing, whatever the person is investing in a business, the always risk is there. But how to reduce the risk? Higher risk carries high reward. Means if the person invests 1 lakh rupees, if he invests in risky business, he may get another 5 lakhs or he may lose the entire 1 lakh or additional loss of 5 lakhs also may be there. So there is a possibility of losing and also earning. High risk, high reward. Low risk, low reward. Means every business some type of risk is required. How much risk is to be taken in carrying on this nature of business? Nature of business is, depends upon the nature of business. If the business is depends upon, you can see speculative business in shares, commodities, it's highly risky. If you are actually carrying on the business of agriculture or manufacturing, it is not that much risky. So risk always depends upon the nature of business carried on. So, that business itself decides how much risk can be taken by the entrepreneur. And always to reduce the risk, the entrepreneur has to see, ensure that more turnover for the loans taken and capital introduced by him. Suppose a person has introduced 10 lakhs rupees, out of that 5 lakhs from the, his own capital and 5 lakhs from borrowing money, mainly from banks and finance institutions, the total investment should ensure that the turnover, how much turnover it should be get to get the profits as he expected. So that should be dedicated turnover, how much percentage of the project report will prescribe this much of capital, this much of funds used should get this much of turnover at this rate of profit percentage of the sales. So that will, that should be the person, that should be the target and that should be the minimum requirement to ensure the turnover. So more, as many times as the funds introduce capital or loans rotated in business means more turnover rotation of the funds used will lead to more profits. So sales means it should be as many times it should, if the if 10 lakhs is rotated monthly once means means turnover is 1 lakh per month. If it is 2 times in a month means 20 lakhs. If it is 5 times in a month means 50 lakhs per month. If it is rotated means even if 2% profit will make more profit. If it make 5% profit, it will earn more profit. Sales doesn't mean that it should be it should be the amount received. It is not the amount credit sales is not there. Credit, all are there. What are the credit sales? How many? As many more credit sales are there? There is a possibility of there is a possibility of losing many uh, low receivables also, as well as the business also may be disturbed. So. Sales means the amounts received on sale is also part of the sales. It doesn't mean that only sales, it should be sales means received, amount received through sales is, is, is to be considered for calculating the sales. And another, another, another precaution is there should be less stocks and less receivables in a business. It should have more turnover, less stock and less receivables means always a profit is affected due to high stocks and high receivables. So one should reduce the burden of shorting of working capital, working capital, working capital tied up with stocks and receivables. So the, the time between the purchase and sale should be very less, as much less as possible. But on the same day, it is more profitable. It is Chinese concept just on time. There should be less stock and the stock should come and it should be produced and you go to immediately to the stockist. So that should be the concept, less stock, less receivables and more turnover should be the concept to earn more and to reduce the risk. And also one more risk is wastage and damage. Many businesses are affected, especially in the manufacturing sector or agriculture sector. There will be a lot of loss or damage because of time consumption or wastage or under production or quality. All these things leads to lot of damage and wastage. So we have to reduce that damage and wastage. 
otherwise that will affect the profit and that will affect the that will increase the loss also so that is the most important thing it is not it cannot be treated that it is compass loss is compulsory we have to minimize the loss that is most important we have to minimize the wastage that is most important wastage may be the loss of damage and wastage may be time material talent treasure money also all these things should be less consumed more productivity should be ensured so high productivity is leads to less wastage and less damage and next one more thing is accounting and information many businessmen feel that accounting is only the job of accountants or their account finance section but not their business but every accounting decision will give some information to the entrepreneur to take decisions so if the receivables are more you have to take you have to take precaution that the uh, and the stock should not be sent to that purchaser again to reduce to uh, to take uh, steps to collect the money from him if the stocks are there we have to see that the purchases should be restricted or reduced to use that stock available so these all these things will give information to the entrepreneur to take decisions so best accounting will always give best information to take right decision on right time to the entrepreneur next timely decisions every decision needs to be taken on time it cannot be postponed business means it's just like fire if it is delay it catches and if it is not de- if there is use it properly it will produce it will multiply the profits so that should be timely decision is most important it cannot be postponed it has to be pre planned if this is the result if this is a if this is a situation we have to take this decision if this is a situation we have to take situation decision like this all this should be taken timely decision should be planned in advance and implemented in a implemented with perfectness and also with the confidence with the courage and with the cooperation of our entire members of the business team means entrepreneur his staff accounting staff marketing staff working staff sales staff everybody should be cooperative and they should be involved in the implementation of the timely decision taken by the entrepreneur and one more thing is entrepreneur should not feel every time that i know everything about the business he should always feel that there is a possibility of increasing the income or increasing the sales or reducing the expenditure reducing the purchases price so he should have a consultant to give him correct advice about the product sales quality purchase price finance all these things they should have a separate consultants to give advice so that it should be as many times as entrepreneur meets the consultants they will get as many new ideas will come to his mind and new implement new decisions may be taken new implementation may come to more benefit to benefit the entrepreneur one more important thing is cash purchase there should not be in, there should not be shortage of cash to purchase though the meet may purchase that is possible only with collecting the amounts uh, amounts on, uh, on sales made collect the amounts on sales the you are will be in a position to pay for the purchase on time promptly and as well also the expenditure of salaries rents and all these things can be paid on time so cash purchases and also you can claim discount for on purchase also because of cash purchases the suppliers may be ready to forego some percent of the discount issue some discount also that also will lead to better profits to manufacturers and one more finally one more thing is customer satisfaction is the most important or important concept of a business if the customer dissatisfied means we cannot it is very difficult to convince others so their oral consumers oral propaganda is more valuable than any propaganda done in any digital 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 platform or any other news media or anything so satisfied customer brings satisfaction to the okay, invitation to the many new consumers so one customer satisfaction will bring invitation to new 10 consumers so customer satisfaction most important thing and that should be customer satisfaction should be improved with good quality of product price means a reasonable price and services after sale also that will also lead to good consumer confidence that will lead to better consumer foundation to improve the business to reduce the risk in business so high risk high profits are there but low risk low profits but risk high risk means the it is not that we should lose every every time high risk means we should earn many times 
So there may be possibility beyond the control, we may lose some time by taking risk. So that should be a concept to reduce the risk in business.